Myra Sharma Kannada, Myra Sharma or Myra Verma Kannada, Myra Verma R.345 to 365 CE, a Brahmin scholar and a native of Talagunda in modern Shimoga district, was the founder of the Kadamba Kingdom of Banavasi, the earliest native kingdom to rule over what is today the modern state of Karnataka, India. Before the rise of the Kadambas, the centers of power ruling the land were outside the Karnataka region, thus the Kadambas ascent to power as an independent geo-political entity, with Kannada, the language of the soil as a major regional language, is a landmark event in the history of modern Karnataka with Myrasharma as an important historical figure. The earliest Kannada language inscriptions are attributed to the Kadambas of Banavasi. Early life There are several legends and tales that describe the progeny of the Kadamba family. One legend states the family descended from a three-eyed, four-armed being called Trilochana Kadamba who sprang to life from the drops of sweat from the forehead of Shiva falling at the roots of a Kadamba tree. Another legend states Myrasharma was born of Rudra a form of Shiva and the Mother Earth under an auspicious Kadamba tree and that he was born with a third eye on his forehead. According to yet another tale, Myrasharma was born to the sister of a Jain Muni under a Kadamba tree. It appears that all these legends evolved so as to present the founder of the kingdom as a demi-god. The Talagunda inscription of 450 is considered the most reliable source of information about the family of Myrasharma and the origin of the kingdom. The inscription is known to be free of legends, giving a realistic and true account of the Kadamba line of kings. According to the inscription, Myrasharma was a Vaidika Brahmin scholar and a native of Talagunda. He was the son of Bandhushina, grandson of his guru teacher Virasharma and a student at the Agrahara place of learning in Talagunda. The inscription confirms the family is named for the Kadamba tree that grew near the family home. It is further claimed that they were a Kanadiga Dravidian family inducted into the Brahmanich fold as was popular in the medieval times. The Gudnapur inscription further confirms Myrasharma's parentage and that he acquired the character of a Kshatriya. <inaudible> <inaudible> Birth of a kingdom According to the Talagunda inscription, Myrasharma went to Kanchi the capital of the Pallavas to pursue his Vedic studies accompanied by his guru and grandfather Virasharma. Kanchi was an important Ghatakasthana center of learning at that time. There, having been humiliated by a Pallava guard horseman, in a rage Myrasharma gave up his Brahmanich studies and took to the sword to avenge his insult. The inscription vividly describes the event thus. It can be said that the rise of Myrasharma against the Pallava hold over the Talagunda region was actually a successful rebellion of Brahmins against the domination of the Kshatriya power as wielded by the Pallavas of Kanchi. Thus was born, in a moment of righteous indignation, the first kingdom native to present-day Karnataka region. Other scholars however feel Myrasharma's rebellion was well timed to coincide with the defeat of Pallava Vishnugopa by the southern invasion of Samudragupta of northern India. Myrasharma first succeeded in establishing himself in the forests of Sriparvata possibly modern Sarisailam in Andhra Pradesh by defeating the Antharapalas guards of the Pallavas and subduing the Banas of Kolar. The Pallavas under Skandavarman were unable to contain Myrasharma and recognized him as a sovereign in the regions from the Amara Ocean, Western Ocean to Prihara Malaprabha River. Some historians feel that Myrasharma was initially appointed as a commander in the army of the Pallavas, as the inscription uses such terms as Sanani and calls Myrasharma Shatanana six-faced god of war. However, after a period of time, availing himself of the confusion caused by the defeat of Pallava Vishnugopa by Samudragupta from the Allahabad inscriptions, Myrasharma carved out a kingdom with Banavasi near Talagunda as his capital. It is also known that in other battles, Myrasharma defeated the Trikutas, Abharas, Sendrakas, Pallavas, Pariathrakas, Shakasthana, the Mauharas and Punadas. To celebrate his successes, Myrasharma performed many horse sacrifices and granted 144 villages known as Brahmadeyas to Brahmins of Talagunda. With an effort to rejuvenate the ancient Brahmanich faith and to perform the royal rituals and the related functions of the government, Myrasharma invited learned Vaidika Brahmins from Ahichatra. The Havyaka Brahmins claim descent from these early Brahmin settlers of the 4th century called the Ahichatra Brahmins or the Ahikaru, Havikaru.
Topic: In popular media. Myra Sharma was the protagonist in the 1975 Kannada film Myra starring Rajkumar. The story is a depiction of the early years of conflict with the Pallava rulers and Myra Sharma's eventual ascension to the Kadamba throne. <laughs> Notes <laughs>